Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on exam seat arrangement. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring uh, an IDE. I will be using the IntelliJ ID in this video and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is the main method. I am passing an object of seat class. This is a GUI form. So to create one you need to go over here in the project package. Right click over there, click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the .java file for the code, the java code and the .form file for the UI. Uh, this is the basic UI. So uh, this is my J panel which I have named it as frame. These are the text fields over here. This is a J combo box. This is the table and uh, I have added the table uh, in the... Uh, on, uh, on top of this j scroll pane so do not forget to add the scroll pane and uh, then the uh, table this is the uh, button okay and i have also provided a few margins over here let's uh, now move to the code okay this is my class i have created an object of jframe class uh, this seed frame and uh, these fields will be generated automatically once you design this form okay i have uh, created this array list over here which is named as seat okay uh, i'll be using this uh, jframe object over here in the constructor uh, to display this particular form okay the ui will be generated uh, once you uh, run the program and uh, this constructor will run and the set of code will run okay so this uh, terminates the program this line uh, terminates the program and uh, then this uh, is required so that the form is visible okay so uh, vi which particular form uh, we need to display so we need to specify that so this is the j panel which uh, is named as frame so we are passing this over here as a parameter okay so and this pack uh, it resizes the frame set location relative to is set to null so that the application uh, displays uh, in the center of the screen and then set visible is set to true then these two methods will run okay so let's uh, uh, understand each declare seeds okay so this is the declare seed method so uh, this uh, uh, is running two loops okay first is from uh, i123 and uh, next from 1 to 10 okay and uh, i am creating a string r i and s j and uh, adding this string to the array list okay so this is but uh, basically the seats okay seat number uh, r stands for the room i is the number okay so rooms are okay th uh, uh, available three over here i have assumed it as uh, uh, initially as three so three rooms are there and uh, 10 seats are present in a room so r i s j so for example the r1 and s j uh, for the first loop r1 and s j means the room one and the seat one okay so similarly all the seats will be added to this array list now uh, then i am uh, having this try catch block over here and uh, what i am doing here is uh, 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 running this query okay building the connection and uh, using this get connection i am passing the url and the username and the password building the connection with the url and then running this query select seat uh, this is the table uh, tab, uh, table name uh, no sorry this is the column name and uh, this is my table name okay so i am selecting all the seats and uh, storing this result into result set and then uh, looping it and uh, then removing the seats from the uh, array list you uh, you'll get a, a better idea once i'll uh, run the program okay so what i am doing here is removing all the seeds which are already present in the database 
so it will uh, check it okay this will uh, loop through all the seeds and i am removing from the array list okay and catching exception if there is any okay this is the table data to display the data uh, i am using this try catch block okay and uh, running this query select all from seed this is the uh, table name okay similarly uh, storing the result into result set then using this table uh, set model method of this table okay this uh, table name is okay this table name is table one okay so i am using this method which i have created on my own but instead of this you can use dbutils dot uh, dbutils dot uh, result set to table model method okay it will uh, work in the same way so pass your result set object over here okay uh, this variable over here and uh, uh, on running this uh, the table data will be uh, populated okay with data then catch exception show message dialog uh, box uh, this method will pop up the message if there is any error okay okay this is the method uh, method the build table model which i was talking about now let's uh, have the action listener to this button so right click on this click on create listener and click on action listener okay so i have uh, generated the code over here this is the uh, button action listener so on pressing that this set of code will run so first it will check if uh, the name the role number is uh, present or not okay if the user has entered uh, his or her role number or name or not okay if it's not then it will pop up a message please fill all record to get seed okay otherwise it will run this code okay so i am randomly generating a number this is the uh, object rn and uh, the seed number will uh, this is null for now okay if uh, seed dot size okay if the array my array is uh, uh, will will have a size of zero then pop up message there are no seeds available otherwise we are uh, getting a random uh, random seed okay so rn dot uh, next int it will we have to now specify the range between zero to this size okay this is the array list okay so it will pop up uh, uh, generate a number random number and uh, uh, we are extracting that value uh, from the array and saving it to this seat number okay this string then this uh, we got the seat okay random seat then uh, this uh, we are running this query insert into we are uh, uh, populating it with data so we need this prepared statement so using this statement uh, we are using the set string method and uh, uh, for each column uh, 1 2 3 4 we are specifying what data needs to be filled so the first uh, column is of name so name dot get text then it's roll number so roll number dot get text okay these are the text fields the class uh, will be a combo box over here you can see this is a combo box and uh, over here i have uh, specified the data in the model okay you can specify it like this now uh, i am using this get selected item to extract the data okay it will be saved in this column under this column class then seed we have extracted the seed in this uh, variable okay so i am using it over here now we are removing it okay once the seat is has been allotted so we need to remove it from the uh, array okay and uh, then i am uh, using this uh, uh execute update and then uh, popping up the message record added successfully then setting these text fields to null okay and uh, okay uh, this is for the uh, debugging okay i was checking so this is the cache block and uh, then popping uh, if the results uh, 
have been uh, the data has been changed in the database so you need to pop up uh, pop, uh, display the changes again okay so i am calling this method display data now let's run the program okay so uh, there were uh, these uh, these seats were avail uh, allotted already allotted okay so uh, when i enter another seat suppose the roll number is 789 okay then get seat okay you can see uh, we got this seat r3s3 and uh, over here i have displayed all the uh, seats okay so you can see there is no r3 uh, one second r3s3 okay so there is no uh, r3s3 present and uh, you can see this s4 uh, r3s4 has already been allotted so this is also not there so first on uh, pressing this button okay this get seat it will first uh, um allot the seat okay then it will check the uh, all if all the seats are uh, sorry if the seats in the data is already present so it will remove from the array first it will declare all the seats then remove all these seats okay and then on pressing this get seat it will allot one and remove from the array Okay, I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.